Hi, Patrick. You're at the yeah. Moosehead Lodge, I see. <laughs> Did you see? Can you see behind Moosehead Lodge? Yes. Uh, yes. What is the Moosehead Lodge? I'm in Lodge? Northern is, Maine. Is that your home there? No, I'm up here shooting this week. Uh, I'm in Southern Maine, but uh, I haven't been up here in quite some time. It's beautiful. I have to be careful of all the moose. Yeah, I, there's there's a uh, moose up there. Um, what is the plural? Everywhere. Of, what, what there's the, actually a sign as you crest this hill. There's a moose crossing la, a sign, and the lights are flashing. You have to be incredibly careful up here. Wow, there's a lot of moose then. What is the, what is the plural yeah. of moose? I think it's just a moose, right? You don't want to say moose is. No, you don't want to, but you want to. It's a, and it wouldn't be a pod. Look at, no, but the, you know how there's like a murder of crow and there's like a, uh, there's like a, there's a, yes, yes, I know. <laughs> what is it? Sorry, Did I am so sorry, Andy is, is just distracting. Yes, Andy is answering everything. I, instead of he thinks I'm talking to him, I'm talking to you. <laughs> so, so last maybe Andy does know. Yeah, he doesn't know anything. He believe me, trust me. <laughs> um, last week you made headlines around the world when you returned to Grey's Anatomy five years after you were killed off. How did that come about? Wow. I mean, we got together. Ellen, I reached out to Ellen, and Ellen and I got together in July, and we were like, "What can we do?" To, to get people to wear masks, you know, how can we make an impact here? And we just, you know, we hadn't spoken in quite some time, so we were playing catch and she goes, what do you think about coming back onto the show? Here's our idea of what we would wanna do for season 17. And I was like, what a great opportunity for people and how great it would be for the fans really to, to see everybody reunited in this sort of bizarre way. Um, and uh, to the credit of the writers and the, uh, Krista came up with this concept uh, where I would come and visit her in her COVID dream. Wow, that's such a great, yeah. I mean, that had to be hard to keep a secret. I know that like so few people knew about this, right? Yeah, nobody knew about it other than uh, ABC, of course, some people at ABC, uh, Krista and then Alan and myself, and that was it. And then we t started talking to the directors, which would be Debbie Allen, who's amazing, and Kevin McKidd who was one of the directors that I worked with, and that was it. And no one knew until I showed up on set that day. And then we were really concerned that someone would take a picture and it would get out somehow. But we managed to keep it a secret, which was pretty phenomenal. Yeah, that and then is the impact of the, the response has been incredibly overwhelming and very moving. Yes, yes. You made everyone cry five years ago when you died, and then you made people cry again when you returned. <laughs> yes in a, an unexpected way, but it was nice to be able to have it work out this way. You know, it's really, I mean, there's so many souls that we have lost right now. The thought of having angels around us is very comforting, certainly to me. Yeah, yeah, I, I uh, yes. Um, how many, so you, so you were in that, and then how many more episodes will you be in? That's a good question. I'm not sure how many, I know I'm, I'm, I'm throughout the season, he comes back to visit. That's fantastic. Well, I, I hope you keep coming back. And I, I agree with you. I think that's a wonderful, comforting thought about angels coming back to visit. Um, and you are, so you're up there shooting right now. Is your family with you or no? They're, they'll be coming in. They're not here right now, no. So your daughter is in college, right? Yes, she is. Freshman year of college uh, in Washington. Was that hard? Hard to believe. They grow up so fast. Yeah, it's really hard. I think it's important for her to be out on her own. but. As a parent, certainly, this was not what you would expect for your, your daughter's first year in college, what yeah. we're dealing with this year. And then how are they? You have twin boys. How old are they? They're about to be 14 coming up here in uh, 2021. So they're 13 now, but, which is amazing because when I first took, started coming on the show, they were, they were newborns, and I, now they're teenagers. I, I know. It's crazy. And how are they doing with, the, with this? I mean, I think it's so hard for kids growing up in these conditions? How are they doing with it? It's really hard because at this point, certainly at their age, the socialization is so important. And then being in a Zoom school all the time is very challenging. I think the mathematics and certainly the sciences are very hard to do. Um, the school's been doing a great job at trying to keep everybody focused and organized, and they're making it through. But it's, it's hard for all kids, I think, right now. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's hard for everyone, but I think especially kids. So you're doing such great work with the Dempsey Center. Um, it helps people impacted by cancer. Um, it's, it's a fantastic thing that you're doing. How's that going? 
It's going really well. And, and uh, the Dempsey Center, um, we work with cancer patients. We don't treat the disease. We treat the person holistically, the caregivers and the whole family. And now, more than ever, you know, it's very hard. We can't do anything in person. So we pivoted, and we have what is called Dempsey Connect. So we can get everybody now virtually. We can work with them um, through the technology, which is good. But I encourage people to continue going and getting their, you know, their checkups. I know it's really hard right now. It's really scary. But if you can, keep up on that. It's really important. Absolutely. All right, uh, Patrick, we have to take a break, and we'll be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God!